Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, February the 22nd. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 22, the first note, humility. We always keep before us the example of Christ, who emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and who on the last night of his life humbly washed his disciples' feet. We likewise seek to serve one another with humility. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis, and receive the gifts of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 121 and 122. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who watches over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord, of, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. Lord Jesus, give us the peace of the new Jerusalem. Bring all nations into your kingdom to share your gifts, that they may render thanks to you without end and may come to your eternal city, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were there with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary get up and quickly go out. They followed her because they thought that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, 
Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, greatly, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupertsland, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our church leadership, for our Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin, O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. We pray this day for those places in the world where people are going to struggle or die because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. Most especially we pray for Yemen, Sudan, Myanmar, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those among us that, that this day will feel the effects of systemic racism and prejudice those who will be treated as unworthy or less than or as an outsider because of the manner of their dress, their language, their customs, their faith. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those among us who this day will struggle to find their daily bread. Those who will go without in this land of plenty. Those who will have to make difficult decisions about what they will buy, what they will do without. Those who will struggle to find shelter. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, 
hear our prayer. We pray for our sick. We pray for those in hospital or nursing homes, those affected with COVID-19, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions or isolation. We give thanks for those who work with the sick and the marginalized. We pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, researchers and scientists. We pray for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Safe and Warm, Helping Hands, BNRC, and the Bear Clan. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are struggling in this time of pandemic, in this time of restriction, in these time of protests. We pray for those who are afraid of the virus. We pray for those who struggle with the, re with the restrictions. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the European province, for Central and Eastern England. We pray for Beverly, Sonia, Guillermo, Scott, Enrique, Abamal, Maria, Francilla, Vincente, Edwin, Terry, Silan, Charles, Frank, Joy, Gary, Ellen, Craig, Jay, Diego, Allison, Francesco, Ronaldo, and our companions Kent, Lawrence, and Edward. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect Almighty God, your Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving love. Renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power through Jesus Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen. <laughs>